from Revolution Magazine, and today I have a very special interview with Tansri Dato Francis Yeo, who I would consider the architect of Malaysia's emergence as the new place for the watch collector to come to buy that special watch. Hello, uh, Tansri. Good to be with you, Ali. So, can you explain to me your vision? What can the watch collector expect when they come to Kuala Lumpur? and specifically to Star Hill Gallery? In Star Hill Gallery, for sure, we guarantee the quality and the variety. Every um, brand that you can think of, that the world knows, are here present, actually, with the standalone boutiques. For starters, that is an awesome choice and the retail experience you will have here. That's number one. Uh, and the second is this, the quality of service. In KL, is uh, second to none. So you'll be treated quite well when you are here shopping. And basically the price is also because we are duty free for collectors. The authenticity is there, but also the collectors can get the best price mm. because there's no duty. And also because of my whole um, long term uh, program with a rental program with the principals, I promise them a long term vision to make sure that uh, the margins for the retailers are quite good. So to a certain extent, they can give a little bit of discount if you ask for that in KL, which is very difficult to give in Hong Kong when the rental is a thousand ringgit a square foot. Mm -hmm. So in a way, all this works in the favour of collectors, okay. that they know at least there's choice, there's authenticity here and also the best price. At least if they dare to ask for a discount, they're not shy. I think I'm quite, can guarantee you the most inexpensive is Kuala Lumpur. So I had a conversation with uh, Stephen Holtzman of Maître du Temps yes. and you actually approached him, he told me this story yeah. and said to him that you wanted to give your commitment for his brand to have his first store and to support him through the coming years. So tell me why you did that. What this has been mean? ongoing uh, from the principal. The first time we did it was with Jaeger Lakut, 1999. And then the, we were both experimenting but Jaeger Lakut's first Standalone boutique, not a pigeonhole in a multi brand shop, works like uh, incredible. The yes. sale became exponential. And then they learned, you know, wow, if you give people a retail experience and choice, you know, you actually sales multiplies in a quite, quite, quite dramatically. Mm -hmm. So that's our first experiment. And thereafter, we will be able to tell this story to the principal look at Yegel Laku's experience. And then that's how you can see. And it's been going on for a while to support uh, the principal's opinion. Say, okay, we, we don't mind capex, you know, spending and we don't mind bringing a lot of watches, uh, uh, things like that. Would you give us a long-term rental program? Not after three years we're successful, then you start to slap 3,000% increase in rent. So I say, okay, that's fine. Let's do a long-term program. So we will support you like Metro de Tom, you know, and brands that need support, right? They're independent. We'll give them support in, in a very friendly, friendly rental programs mm. so that when they succeed in sometimes say a year from now or two when the sales expand, we, we have a percentage of the sale. That means we will them well because the more they sell, all right, the better it is for us. But it's more long term, not yes. like immediate. I just want to be like a landlord. I don't care who you are. You just pay the rent or get out. Mm. So I think that's why this kind of vision with people like Metro de Tom and many others, mm. Speak Marine and many other independent brands, mm. they just love what Star Heels long-term thinking is, yeah. Mm. Aside from the more mainstream brands like uh, Rolex and Omega, yeah. you also have very exclusive brands like Richard Mille, That's right. like Maitre du Temps, That's right. and also you have many independent brands through the Kronos store. That's correct. But can you tell me why independent brands are, are so important to you as well? Because the independent brands are really creating collectible timepieces. And if you insist uh, high rentals that other principal brands can pay, and charge them the same thing, same way. I don't think they can they will be able to make it. So that's why independent brands need support from us. And we support them with a lot of PR, support them. They should be supported because they really make fantastic collector's timepieces at very good prices. So they are not spoiled and, and not monopolistic. Mm. So I like the independent brands to succeed to a certain extent, right? So that the, the, the collectors have much more variety. And that's why it's, it's again a very long term. And the point is that it complements also the older brands because by the footfall of people coming with choice, 
generally, do you prefer classically styled watches or do you prefer things which are more modern and say Richard Mille, for example? Yeah. What, what is your preference in terms of uh, your own personal style for watch? Yeah, so there are certain breakthroughs of uh, people like Richard Mille that just uh, went ahead of the curve and, and, and very bravely advertised the price of the watch as a way of life. Mm. And they don't need to hide them with models, etc. The watch itself, the face of the watch tells a story and they put on there, this is 100,000 euros. So that is actually a heck of confidence, mm. all right? It's like a classic, no, no, you don't tell the price, it's subtle, they are the opposite and how well they do. So yes, I will collect pieces because it's well made, it is, and they have a right to do the way they do. And of course the classic pieces like Patek Philips and the APs, the Rolexes, the... Yeah, so I collect where there's a deep story and a commitment of the watchmaker. There was a real story, not a manufacturing PR, okay. right? It's a real story of commitment. And in other watches with history are uh, hundreds of years old uh, and they stick to their tradition and do not compromise and continue to do uh, engineering wise and aesthetic wise continue to improve I will always collect them so here if, uh, if, if you like a Richard Mio you're expressing something yes. correct so in a way it's a quick tell of your personality mm -hmm. which is interesting if I have any interview with anybody in my business so I first thing by instinct I see what watch they wear okay. well, why <laughs> so I can tell a little bit of their character of that person okay. it is interesting you know well, it's, it's very obvious that you are a true watch lover uh, and I think that because of your direction, that Star Hill Gallery and the way it is right now has a bright future. So I'd like to thank you, Tan Sri, for this interview and I wish you the best for Star Hill and the watches within specifically uh, to have a very bright future for Malaysia. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.